it's time for the Guilty Gear Strive character breakdown of Giovanna. Let's rock! rock. Making her debut in Strive, Giovanna is a pure rushdown archetype, accompanied by her own spirit wolf named Ray, or in Portuguese pronounced Hey. Gio is ready to kick you to the curb. Giovanna's kit is strong in its use of normal attacks, but before we dive into her main buttons and combos, we need to talk about her character-specific abilities. One of your most important resources in Guilty Gear Strive is your tension gauge. This is the bar located at the bottom of your screen. As tension builds from various mechanics such as your normal moves, you'll see the gauge fill up, granting you meter to do certain mechanics such as your overdrives. When Giovanna's tension gauge is at half or full, she receives various buffs. At half tension, she receives a damage buff of 5%, but at full tension, she receives 10%, and you'll notice she glows when you reach this. Additionally to the damage buffs, she will gain defense boost when having half or full meter. Giovanna as a character is definitely new player friendly. She's blessed with quite a few fast and heavy hitting normals. Giovanna's standing punch is one of the fastest attacks in Strive. Make sure to use this when wanting to challenge your opponents. Most won't have an answer for it. The most common moves you'll see a Giovanna player use are her close slash and far slash. Close slash is plus on block and allows you to easily combo off the move if your opponent doesn't block. Far slash is Geo's main jam in neutral. This move not only hits three times, but is fantastic for catching your opponent making mistakes or backdashing at the wrong time. Crouching Slash is a normal similar to Giovanna's Far Slash with multiple hits. You can also convert into other moves off of this. This character is filled with options for any player. Giovanna's Crouching Heavy Slash is an essential tool in her arsenal for launching opponents without meter. This move, when done after a Close Slash, for example, allows you to either continue into a special move or do whatever your heart pleases to juggle the opponent after. Forward Heavy Slash also comes in handy for going airbound. When Giovanna uses this, it also moves the opponent forward in motion. This can be great when trying to finish a combo and end in a wall break. Crouching Dust is a favorite of all Geo mains. This move not only utilizes her trusty Spirit Wolf, Hay in the animation, but extends Hay's heal out, reaching further than it seems and hitting low. This is spectacular as a poke and using it for a juicy counter hit when your opponent isn't watching their toes. The last normal that is important to mention for Giovanna's kit is her Jump Dust. Jump Dust not only hits twice, but is a helpful add-in for her air combos. It can also be canceled when you air dash. Giovanna's most important special move is Sepultura. This move can combo off of most of Giovanna's normals and grant you a hard knockdown. Additionally, you can continue a combo after this hits depending on your placement. Provo is great for applying pressure on block. This special move is plus one blocked by your opponent. The downside would be the slow startup, but on top of its frame advantage on block, it can also cancel through projectiles. Giovanna is fortunate to be one of the characters in this game with a DP, or move that she can use on wake up or through the gap of a string your opponent is using on you. This move, called Sol Nascente, is not invincible, but a nice bit of spice to it when catching your opponent trying to steal your turn. Additionally, you can roam and cancel to keep this move safe if the opponent blocks, giving you time to mix them up low or high in return. Sol Puente is a special move that Giovanna can do grounded or when airbound. This move hits on both sides of the opponent and if up too close, can cross you up. Just like the rest of the cast, Giovanna has two overdrives. Her first, Ventania, is really fun with an invincible start. This is great to use as a reversal against your opponent with very high damage to boot. Be careful when throwing this out as it is easy to block and jump over if your opponent sees it coming. Giovanna's other overdrive, Tempestage, is usually done when in the air or off of close slash. This move is plus on block, so when you have the meter, you'll want to use this to close the gap because the opponent has to hold that. Giovanna is very beginner friendly, but also quite the asset in the hands of an experienced player. Picking up this Rushdown Queen is a great choice for anyone who's a fan of fast and pressure-filled gameplay. Once you start, you'll be howling for more! Be sure to test your Giovanna skills by signing up to the Guilty Gear Strive Open Series. Go to compete.playstation.com or register in-game. PlayStation.